Welcome to the fourth video in my Leathercraft series. This one focuses on stitching. Let's get started. So sorry to disappoint, this will not actually contain any stitching. This will just focus on how I prepare things for stitching. Because the leather I use is so thick, you can't just push a needle through. You have to punch your stitching holes beforehand. Okay, so I'll just quickly run through the things that, that I use, the tools I use for this before we actually get into it. You'll need a scratch roll for marking out the placement of your pieces and things like that. You will need glue of some description. I have this Fibins Leathercraft cement. And you want a sharp knife here as well. The one I use is just a standing knife here, a box car. You're gonna want some clamps to hold your pieces in place while the glue is drying. These are just some of the ones I use. You're gonna want some pricking irons. You get these in different sizes. I think these ones are five mil. You're gonna want some wing dividers for marking out a stitching line. You're going to want to have a mallet of some sort. I'm actually using a hammer here, which is not the tool for the job. Ideally, you should have an acrylic or a rubber hammer, something that's not going to damage your pricking irons. This isn't exactly necessary, but I tend to use my ruler here as well. I'll show you why later on. Okay, so the first step in the process, you just want to put all your pieces in place. This just lets you know exactly where you need to put the glue. So I'll just put some glue around the edge of each piece here, put it on both sides. Okay, and then I'll line everything up and you just want to clamp that in place. And it's a good idea to go around tapping the edges with a hammer just to make sure they're completely flat. Now you would just put the clamps all around the edges just to make sure the pieces are held together tightly as the glue is drying. And now you just want to leave this to dry for a few hours. Okay, and once the glue is dry, you can just take all the clamps off again. And what I do here is use my knife to just go along the edges to make sure that they're perfectly flat. And making sure that edge is completely flat will make sure that the stitching lines we're about to put on are just completely parallel. Okay, and I want to use the wing dividers now to mark a stitching line. I know on this one, for example, if I set them five millimeters apart, that's the perfect distance for my stitching line. And I want to just mark a line all the way around and this will be your guideline for punching your holes. It might be a good idea at this point to put some scrap leather underneath the piece that you're going to be punching through. It just stops you marking your work surface. So I'll just place the pricking irons now at the start of that stitching line and just use the hammer to just punch them right the way through, trying to keep it as straight as possible. And you can just carry on now all the way along your stitching line using the last hole that you punched as your first hole, so that just to make sure that your, your holes are equally spaced. So once you have all the holes made, that's everything ready now to be stitched properly. So that'll be, that'll be in part two. I'll show you how I stitch things. I use something called a saddle stitch. So I'll talk a little about what that is and why I use it. And as always, thanks very much for the support on the series so far. I'm really enjoying getting some feedback from people. Stay tuned for part two of my stitching process next week. And Tell your friends. Okay, thanks very much. Tell your friends, he says. <laughs>